Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to hop on and do something a little bit different, which is to tell you about my favorite engagement ring related accessories or products. The reason I wanted to film this video is because when I got engaged, which was about, uh, what, 10 months ago at this point, um, I was searching around for products that I could use to keep my engagement ring safe and clean, and it was actually hard to find a nice comprehensive list of things that I could purchase. So I just wanted to give you guys some ideas of what you could buy for yourself if you just got engaged, or what you could buy for a friend who just got engaged. Some small little gifts that will help them uh, keep their ring safe. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was this jewelry box. Now obviously this jewelry box is way bigger than just um, just an engagement ring, but I think it's great to have a jewelry box that holds all of your jewelry items all together so that when you get home from work or when you're about to go to sleep and you take off all your jewelry, it's all in one place. Because I think a key, um, I guess, danger with an engagement ring is that you accidentally put it down somewhere and you can't find it, or it slips down a drain, or somebody else picks it up, or, you know, any number of things. Like I've put... Uh, different rings like on my desk can accidentally swipe them into the trash can and luckily found them but things like that are um, what I'm trying to avoid with all of these products. So this jewelry box is where I put my engagement ring every single night and I think it's a great uh, jewelry box to have because um, it has literally a slot for all of my jewelry products. So it has a mirror on the back which I've just covered to um, avoid lighting issues but um, the top of it as you can see has a bunch of slots for rings I, and it has some other compartments as well, like I keep extra Fitbit bands here. This is where I just keep a little bit of extra cash. Um, and then like random stuff. And it comes with a key that you can, you know, lock it with, um, which is great if you want to keep, you know, like little kids or something out of it. It's obviously not going to keep it safe from burglars or anything like that because it's a, it's a dinky little lock that it could easily break. But um, so it has a good spot for my rings to go. And then it also has some slots that you can use to hold other jewelry, like this is where I keep my dangly earrings. Um, this flat compartment is where I keep just some other random like Indian jewelry so that, that can lay flat, has its own little case, things like that. And then this part I really like, um, it has a little spot for my watches, little pillows where I can put my watches. Um, you just pull it out, put your watch around and put it back in. Um, and then I also keep like silver polishing cloth, other stuff down here. And the great thing about this jewelry box as well is that it has um, a slot where you can keep your necklaces. So you just put them on these little um, these little pullouts here. They dangle down, so it keeps them from tangling on themselves, which is really nice um, and a great a way great way to store my necklaces and and also bracelets. Um, so you have one of those on this side and one on that side as well. So this is great. It's a great place for me to keep all of my jewelry. Um, of course, this is way too big to use if I wanted to travel, so that's why I actually bought this jewelry box. This is a travel jewelry box, so it has a um, zip closure, which was a really important feature to me because when I'm traveling, I want to make sure that um, my jewelry is safe, right? And so the zip means that it's not going to accidentally open. It's not like a magnet that can accidentally unclasp or a button that can accidentally pop open. It's really going to stay closed. Um, and so then you look at the inside, and uh, you just have a bunch of different ring slots. So I, I wear rings and earrings, and so stud earrings. So I put my stud earrings here and some rings here, and then I keep my watch right here. On the top here, you also have a mirror, which I'm covering. Um, and then you have these little holes right here, which can be used for dangling earrings. And then um, here you have, uh, again, those, those little hooks that you can use for your necklaces. So you put necklaces here, they dangle down, and they stay here, and um, they don't get all tangled up. So this jewelry box is really helpful. Um, it's helpful in the airport if you don't want to be wearing your jewelry for some reason. You just toss all your jewelry in here, zip it up, and it's all safe. But then it's also really helpful um, when you're at wherever you wherever you travel to. Like we go to, we went to my brother-in-law's house where he has a bunch of little kids. Um, well, actually, just two little kids. So I didn't wear my ring that much because I didn't want to like scratch them or anything like that. So I just pop my ring in here, zip it up, keep it in my backpack in their guest room, and know exactly where it was and keep it safe instead of leaving it, you know, on their nightstand or in the bathroom or something like that, where it could potentially get lost, slip down a drain, things like that. So I really like this travel jewelry box. Um, and then for when you're not traveling or you're not at home, um, what I found really helpful are little ring boxes. So this is just a little ring box that I have for some reason. You just, you know, you slip your ring 
in there and you have it all safe and secure. So I keep this one at my desk at work because when I want to eat something messy or something like that where I want to take my ring off, I just pop it in here, close it up, put it in the uh, locked drawer in my desk and my ring is safe. I know exactly where it is. It's not just sitting on my desk waiting to be potentially snatched or waiting to be, you know, accidentally thrown away or something like that. It's safe in its little box. Um, one other thing, a different kind of ring box, I guess, is this one. So we got this one actually with my engagement ring from the people we bought it from, from the store we bought it from, and it's actually a really cool box. So on the outside, it's a nice, like, soft leather, but on the inside, it's your usual velvet lining, but the inside actually has an LED light. This is really cool, so particularly like when you're actually getting engaged, the LED light shines on the ring, lights it up, it makes it really nice for pictures, um, and because it's an LED light, it'll last a while, so I thought this was a pretty neat box, um, particularly for a proposal um, that they gave us when, when I got my ring. Um, so other things that you might find useful um, to keep your ring safe when you want to take it off are things like this. These, this is just a little ring tray, it's like a little jewelry tray, so you put your ring on here, you can just slip it on, like that, and then you have like a spot where you can put your watch or something. I keep this one right outside our kitchen, um, so that if I want to take my ring off when we are cooking or when I'm washing dishes, um, I can just slip it off on here, know exactly where it is, and not accidentally like leave it on the counter and slip it down the sink or something like that. Um, and then this one is also really helpful. So this is more when you're like out and about, um, not necessarily like in your house or at your office, but this is something where you want to um, take your ring off but keep it safe. I think a lot of people use these at the gym. So this is called a lion latch and you see the little lion on the bottom there. Um, so how it works is you just take this little clip off and then if you open it like that, you can put your ring right there. So you just toss it in. Um, and your ring stays there, you close it up, and once you put the clip through that little hole, it's completely safe. It's not going to open, um, it's completely secure. So a lot of women, like I said, use these at the gym, they keep it on their keychain or they keep it in their gym bag. I could even see you putting this on a lanyard around your neck so that you always know where your ring is if you want to take it off. Um, I used to use this when we were out and about, um, like if we were, again, eating something greasy where I didn't want to keep like be wearing my ring or something like that, um, and I would keep this in my purse put it in the back zipped pocket of my purse, and always know exactly where my ring was. Um, but recently I've actually gotten something a little bit better for that purpose, which is a magnetic clasp for my necklace. So um, this is the necklace I wear almost every single day, and you can see there that it has a pretty small lobster claw. Um, it's really hard to get on and off, honestly. So um, one, you know, one great place that you could put your ring is if you were to open your necklace, you could slip your ring through the necklace and you know just wear it like on your neck just wear it um, so that if you wanted to take your ring off you still know exactly where it is the problem of course is that when your necklace is really hard to open and close in public and you don't you just like don't feel like it or your hands are full or you don't want to take the extra like minute to like finagle with your clasp um, so you don't end up doing that and you keep your ring on when it gets dirty when it could get dirty or damaged or you take it off and put it somewhere less safe right um, so that's why I got this. It's a magnetic clasp. You literally just pull it apart and your necklace opens and it closes, opens and it closes. And it's a really strong magnet. So unless someone like really, really were to yank at my necklace, um, it's going to stay on. It's going to stay safe. I've never, ever had it fall off. Um, and it is plated or it is fully 14 karat gold. Um, so I, I really wanted it to be um, gold because... I'm a little bit allergic to nickel, and so I didn't want it, like the back of my neck to get irritated because of this. So it is, it's a great product. And again, I found all these on Amazon. So um, that's a great product to have if you think that you're the type of person who wants to take your ring off um, every now and then. And I will say that I, um, I have, I don't have a diamond ring, I have a tourmaline. So it's a little bit softer of a stone. Um, so I am a little bit more careful with it than some people are with their diamonds. So that's why I tend to take my ring on and off more than I think other people. If you have something like a morganite that gets uh, dirty really easily, you would also uh, potentially want to do that. So the last things I have are these sizing coils. Um, so these are really helpful in the winter when your ring gets a little bit loose and your hands are a little bit dry and it starts to spin around. You just put it on the back here of your ring and it adds a little bit of size. 
And the last thing um, are these microfiber cloths. So this one I actually got with my glasses from Zenny. Um, I really like Zenny, uh, by the way. This is where I get like my prescription glasses. If you haven't uh, heard about Zenny, they're really nice. They're like a cheaper version of Warby Parker. You just order online, um, and I can get glasses from them for like 30 bucks, which is really great with no insurance or anything like that. But you can also buy microfiber cloths, of course, on like Amazon. This one's a new one that I have yet to open. But I think these are really great for keeping your ring clean. Um, after I wash my ring with Dawn and a toothbrush and water, I just take this, uh, you know, wipe it off, and it's good to go. Um, so I think these are super helpful to have around. So yeah, that's um, all the products that I use to keep my engagement ring safe and clean. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other tips or products that you use for yours. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.